Hey, we come back to vectors and today we're gonna consider vector equality. That's a short video about understanding which vectors are equal and what about magnitudes and directions of equal vectors. So here we consider two vectors, A and B, and we figure out whether they're equal or not. So the statement tells us that two vectors no matter which direction they have, but the direction for both should be the same. So that means if we have vector A, equal vector to the vector A should have the same magnitude or a lens and the same direction. So the same direction. As you remember for direction, the angle of relating to some axis is responsible for. Okay? Or actually you can use the gradient. So it means that vector A star is going to be equal to vector A only then if directions are going to be the same or the gradients of the segments for those vectors are going to be the same or if you like the angles let's say to the horizontal line are going to be equal so alpha and alpha and the lens or magnitude so if you want to calculate the lens just remember how we do how we did it we use pythagoras through the triangle okay if you figure out that this three by three and that three by three the lens should be the same angle should be the same and hence vector a equals to the vector a star okay so that's good and that means so uh, any vectors which have the same length which has the same length are in magnitude and direction but no matter where where it's in 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 space in the 2d plane so no matter it considered to be equal if they have those parameters the same so you can have multiple vectors which are equal if they have the same magnitude and directions okay so what about like zero vector? So what if the vector, the starting point and the ending point, they coincide? It's simply the dot, right? Or just a point, okay? So in this case, we have zero vector. If you want to measure the length, it's zero. If you want to calculate the length through Pythagoras, it also be zero, right? Okay, so that what it means zero vector. So zero vector is the vector of length zero. So does it have any direction? Of course not, because you cannot set up the right direction because you don't have the segment, you just have the point. Okay, so zero vector doesn't have zero vector. So it doesn't have any direction. Okay, so let's move next. We have a little problem here. So you have program A, B, C, D, and which vector A, B, and vector B, C are given as two letters A and B. Okay, so let's set up parallelogram. Let's take that case. This is A, B with the letter A, and we have also B, C. Let's set up here which is B. Okay, so that's BC. Because it's parallelogram, so we need to set up all other sides in parallel way. Okay, and I just highlight that we have two vectors. So what we need to do, we need to find expression, vector expression for the following vectors. So BA, okay, so where is the vector BA? BA is the vector with the same lens as AB because if you take the lens for AB, the magnitude is going to be the same as for BA. So what's the difference? The difference is that, okay, BA is the opposite vector to AB. So in this case, direction is opposite. And we're going to say that vector BA is simply negative of the vector AB. Okay? So in this case, in this case, 
we determine the opposite vector to a given one. So in terms of vector a small, we are going to have the opposite vector to the a. So hence, vector ba will have the same magnitude but the opposite direction. So this sign tells you about you have the opposite vector or what is called negative vector. So right now we have a negative vector to vector to the vector a. Okay, so next cb. cb the same has the same magnitude as bc but it has negative direction so it's negative b. So what about cd? So d point is right there. So cd that's the starting point. It emanates from C and terminates in D. So we have this vector. So what about direction? Because by definition, the opposite side of parallelogram, they are parallel to each other. So you can state that vector CD is going to be as negative A. Because technically, vector CD is the same as vector BA. They have the same direction and the same magnitude. So hence we can get the expression for each one. Okay, so that's pretty simple and that's what vector equality means. Hope you enjoy guys and see you later in this topic.